welcome to today's video. Today we are in Plaza San Pedro, here in the middle of La Paz, smack bang downtown La Paz. This is behind me here. If you can guess what this is, you're a genius. Because this is not what it looks like. It is actually the biggest prison in the whole city. And this prison behind me here is notorious for basically being the biggest, the biggest cocaine factory in the whole country. In here, there are some incredible stories of what goes on on the inside. How the police is involved in, in getting the drugs, or first getting the chemicals in, and the inmates inside make the drugs from the coca leaves and the chemicals on the inside give a little tip to the guards at the door over there behind me and they simply look the other way same procedure when the when the drugs go out the door again inside this prison is basically a microcosm of the whole uh, society of Bolivia prisoners has to pay for everything inside the guards only stand on the outside here at the doors they have no control basically inside the prison only if things get absolutely crazy out of hand for any kind of riot or something otherwise the police do not go inside they only just lead you to the door push you inside by the way you have to pay an entrance fee an entrance fee to be allowed to enter the prison to be for the privilege of being imprisoned. As you can imagine, most prisoners arrive with absolutely nothing because most police take everything when you get arrested. So instantly you go into debt. Inside the prison, you will have to buy your own prison cell. You'll have uh, eight zones in the prison and divided in uh, five star ratings. So you have three zones in the prison that are three that are five star ratings and those zones are basically like guarded community gated communities as you know from any rich society um, in those zones you have basically like a big hotel room you have some of them have uh, like televisions kitchen even like two three story buildings uh, not buildings, sorry, apartments slash prison rooms um, and they can basically do anything in the richest of the in the best of these sectors the prisoners can even pay the police to leave during the day carry on their business on the outside they have phones access to emails, all this so they basically get thrown into prison you have to do everything by yourself. I just finished reading a very interesting book called Marching Powder, which exposes the whole story of, of the prison here. It is written by an Australian guy called Rusty about a, an English guy who got caught in the airport up here in El Alto in 1996 with five kilos of cocaine trying to smuggle them back to Europe. He was then imprisoned and the story is about this guy Thomas from from the UK who, who was imprisoned here for five years. How he gets thrown into the prison, figures it all out, has to figure it all out by himself. Obviously he's surprised at just exactly what's going on in the prison there because it's nothing like what you imagine of a prison. As I said, everyone in the prison has to work for food, for accommodation, for water, for a cell, anything you have to pay for. If you have no money, you must sleep outside. You won't get anything done. You won't get anything and you must sleep outside. You must work for free for someone. Now we're at the, the back side of the prison here. As you can see, it's just a big wall. It basically looks like anything that could be a museum building here in the in the city. You have some, some ladies over there selling alcohol, street food. It is very 
very, very intriguing. Definitely the most unique prison that I've ever heard of. It's a notorious place here. Back in the day when this guy, Thomas was his name, the guy from the book, when he was in prison, he used to then have to, as I said, make his own money in there. So what he did was he started tours for, uh, for travelers, backpackers, around, around South America. The word quickly spread that there was an English guy in the prison and that you should go to the main gates and ask for Thomas and he could take you around show you an incredibly good time inside the prison show you all the cells from the poor cells to the middle class to the high class cells and you would get shown everything pretty much inside so some of the most interesting stories in my opinion from the prison is like so the richest uh, or the, the nicest part of the prison has its own entrance even that's completely separated from the rest of the prison no one is allowed to go in there uh, from the rest of the prison and that's where the most high profile uh, imp uh, prisoners stay like politicians and and, oh, the wind here. That's where most high-profile prisoners would stay. Politicians and rich uh, drug traffickers. And as I say, some of them even have jacuzzis, two, three-story apartment buildings in there. It is pretty, pretty, pretty ridiculous for a prison, isn't it? <laughs> and, and, yeah, every year, they have in those sections, they have elections, democratically held elections for who's going to be basically the mayor of your section and the accountant or the finance minister, you could call it, of, the, of your section. And that's held democratically once a year and all the prisoners vote. They elect one, this guy has the control of the whole of the whole sector in the prison and he has the contact with the, with the, with the, with the outside he's able to go to uh, to talk with the with the leaders of the of the prison and basically as in this prison with the with the right ranks you can live a great life in there no one will say anything to you you can go around you can go outside of the prison in the day. You just have to come back on uh, on the evening, and you can go out, carry on your business that you're doing, your politics, whatever, in in the real world. Very, <laughs> very, very intriguing, intriguing little prison here. Basically, also the fact that it literally just looks like a normal house, or well, not a normal house, but like a could have, it could be one of these um, could be one of these museum buildings around in the city. So as you can see the door over here behind me, that would be the entrance to that uh, most high class sector of the prison over there. As you can see people are waiting to go inside. And that's another fun fact about this prison that a lot of the prisoners simply live inside in these prison cells slash apartments with their wives and their kids. So, so basically, the kids live inside, they come outside for school during the day. You wake up in the morning, the kids are, are coming outside, if you come here early in the morning, the kids are coming out. With their, with their school backpacks on, their wives are living inside. What are some of the other businesses that's going on in there? Like, in any normal society, outside, on the outside, there's restaurants, there's fruit shops, there's ladies selling fruit and vegetable, there is, um, there is pharmacies, there's hair, hair uh, hairdressers, barbers, and as you see, Coca-Cola over there is currently delivering a a fresh batch of 
Coca-Cola for some of the restaurants in there. <laughs> so yeah, like, as I said, a proper microcosm of real society with all the businesses you have on the outside. You have restaurants, fruit shops, barbers, you have shoe keep shoemakers, you have shoe polishers, every business you can imagine, waiters, whatever. Everything goes on in that prison. And that's how you basically make a living in there. If you don't have the ability as in the five star five star sectors to like keep life outside going, keep money coming in. And then yes, yeah, as I say, inside there they produce basically most of the cocaine made in all of south uh, in all of bolivia it's very 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 interesting isn't it what's going on in there? Huh? Ah. okay see you soon. all right someone's telling me to go away <laughs> not filming I guess he's got some contacts to someone on the inside. Not the nicest dude there. <laughs> so as you can see, people are literally coming in and out of the prison over here behind me on the daily. Every minute. That's how the allegedly, <laughs> according to the book, according to everyone here in the city, that is how the coke. The ingredients first is smuggled in and how the coke, the final product after producing on the inside, is smuggled back out again. And yeah, as you can see also, women, children, even though it's a men's prison, are walking in and out over there. And I mean, just think about that. Can you imagine growing up in a prison, living your childhood in a prison, due to the fact that that simply is better because your dad has been thrown into prison your mom simply provides for the family has no means of providing for you if your dad's left in the prison and and she's on your outside with your mom and you're on your outside with your mom just that's crazy isn't it so yeah those are some of the the harsh truths of the prison here and yeah now we've done a whole tour around it, I will head back down into another part of the center. I'll end the video here. If you found those stories interesting, I'll leave a link in down in the bottom, in the, in the description down below. You can go to the website of the writer, find links to, uh, to purchase the book. It's available on Amazon. I imagine it must be available as an audiobook on some of those audiobook platforms as well. And yeah, with that said, I'll leave the video here, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, so you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching.